In this how to we are going to create a custom section in the web.config file and retrieve its value. There might be a scenario where you do not want to store your information into the app settings or connection string settings but you want to create a custom setting in the web.config file and you want to store your values there. If you have that kind of scenario then you will need to uh, use the, uh, the, the way that I'm going to show right now. So, so first let us create a, a, a custom config section in the web.config file. So in order to create a custom config section, what we need to do is that we need to first keep the config sections and under that, under that define the section name. So here my section name is my custom setting and type I have defined that I want to use name value file section handler. Name value file section handler be, uh, enable us to store the data in, ca in, in, in the form of key and value format. So I have used this. I have I have specified that my custom setting will be of this type, and then what you need to do is that whatever name we have specified. In this case, we have specified my custom settings. So the same my custom settings we will have to write here also. So, so this is going to be my my custom settings, and under that I have written the add and key and the value. So it is similar to as if you are uh, writing the settings for the app settings. Now here one, one very important point to notice is that the name of the custom settings should match the section name here. If it will most will not match then it will not work. And one more important point is that this config section must be the first child or the remaining child. You, if you will keep this config section here then it doesn't work. There might be some other way around as well but whenever I tried uh, it, it, it doesn't work. Now let us uh, write some code behind to uh, to see that how it how to retrieve the value uh, from the config section in the web.config file. So first we will have to use couple of namespaces in the code behind. So let us use this those namespaces and these namespaces are system dot collections, system dot configuration, and system dot collection dot specialized. Now let us uh, copy paste some code behind code as well here. So in this case we have in the page load we have this code and then we have this much code as well. I am going to explain all of them. So yes, so here is my code. Now in order to retrieve what we need to do is that we need to first insta instantiate the name value collection and this name value collection uh, class exists in system.collections.specialized namespace and once we have the instantiation of this name value collection then using configuration manager that exists into system.configuration namespace we can call the get section method and pass the custom uh, settings that we have created under the web.config file. So in this case we have created my custom settings. So that's what I have passed here and then cast with name value collection. Now when we will cast with the name value collection for this particular my settings then what will happen is that this collection uh, object will have all the uh, uh, keys of this custom settings and using that key we will be able to retrieve its value. So you can see here is that my first value we are retrieving using custom setting key and then second value is custom setting key 1. This is my custom setting key and this is the custom setting key 1. Now when we will run this page what will happen is that it will basically uh, write me write the value that is written for custom uh, setting key and custom setting key 1. So let us run this page and see how it is looking like here is my page and you can see that custom setting value and custom setting value 1 is being written uh, by, by this particular statement you can see here custom setting value and custom setting value 1 now, now let us change custom setting 1 and I am setting custom setting 2 when I will refresh this page we will see that the same value will be written here so this was the way to uh, uh, to create a custom settings into the web.config file. The important point here is this one. You will have to specify the section name. That name should be uh, should be the same as the name you are going to write for your custom setting, and then you will have to specify the type as well.